Yeah, magazine drop, I'm back. No yeah. Freshman of the year, no cap at all. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Tyro Pickums for the second semester. I'm your new host, Devin Robinson, and I'm glad to be hosting this show. An honor to be in here with David. He gave yeah. me the opportunity. Yeah, so no, no problem, Devin. It's been a it's a pleasure talking some college basketball. You know, first semester is always with the football talk. Yeah. But personally, I think college basketball is the best sport on earth. So I'm glad that whoa, I was able to join today. Whoa, whoa, see, we already off to a bad start. <laughs> college football is the best sport. No, but anyways, no. we're about to get into the nice Big Twelve and SEC matchups this weekend. Uh, Tennessee, number eighteen, Tennessee takes on Texas. Mm -hmm. Uh, who do you think will win this game? Let's get right into it. I mean, Texas had high expectations coming into the season with a lot mm -hmm. of transfers. New coach Chris Beard, Marcus Carr was a star transfer from the University of Minnesota, who I personally enjoy watching play a lot. They got a really good team. Courtney Ramey's really good. But Tennessee, always year in and year out, one of the better defensive teams in the country, especially the SEC. Rick Barnes can kind of be disappointing come tournament time. Uh, I'll take Texas in this one. Uh, they're hosting it in Austin, and I think that with the star power of uh, Marcus Carr and Courtney Ramey, uh, that star backcourt will get it done for the Longhorns. I think Texas still has a really high ceiling. They just haven't really reached that floor yet. So I'm taking Texas. One fun fact, Courtney Ramey is from STL. Okay, I St. Louis. STL I did not know that. St. Louis represent. Okay, so that's your guy because I got Marcus Carr. He's a Minnesota yep. guy, so I like that. Yes, sir. Now on to the next game, the big game. Kansas takes on Kentucky. Who do you think will win this game? I mean, this is, this is the two blue bloods right here. I mean, this is... Two of the best pr programs in college, college basketball, football, college basketball, college basketball history. history. Kansas, I don't want college yeah. football right there. Uh, but they did beat Texas. No, but this two of the two of the best teams uh, year in year out. Kansas, obviously, um, but both these teams also share uh, a common win and absolutely destroying Mizzou. Both teams did that this season. And let's not get on teams. I know, I know. K Kansas uh, again, year again. Bill Self is is a great coach, and they, he brings in some great talent. Remy Martin. He's a transfer from Arizona State who's just been so good this year. He's in the running for Big 12 Player of the Year. But who's probably going to win it is his teammate, Okai Baji, who, I mean, is just an absolute stud for the Jayhawks. He can score at will at any level of the court. Kentucky's got some ballers, too. I mean, they took it to town with, uh, with Auburn. Uh, Auburn, it was in Auburn, too. And Kentucky were right there with them almost the whole game until one of their star point guards, Ty Ty Washington, Ty Ty Washington excuse me, got hurt. And uh, that kind of ended it for, for Kentucky. But... The mixture of Washington, Severe, Wheeler, Kell, and Grady, uh, they're all great at uh, scoring the ball, especially in the perimeter. But the star for Kentucky is Oscar Sheeway. I mean, that man, oh, for sure. that man He's has... He's probably one of the best big men in college basketball. It's him. It's like Walker Kessler, who we, who we recently saw. And then there's some other guys as well. But he is, again, another player in the running for National Player of the Year. I think Oscar Sheeway averaging, uh, like, I'd be like 16 points, 13 he rebounds. Lead, he leads Kentucky in almost every statistical yeah. category. He averages 16 points per game, 15, 15 points per game. Okay. Uh, one and a half blocks, one and a half I know, steals, almost every statistical category mm -hmm. there is. Yeah, Sheebway is an absolute stud, the transfer from West Virginia. Uh, I'll give you the upset. Give me Kentucky in this I got one. Kentucky, too. Yeah, there you go. I like, I like that because I think Kentucky is going to be a little upset after that Auburn game where they were right there, they were right there, and they should have had it. But uh, I'll give, me the, give, me the, give me the Wildcats. Kansas, you never know what them. They're, they're always kind of a disappointment come tournament time. They're definitely a team to watch, but I'm, I'm going Wildcats. I'm going Wildcats, too. There you go. That's going to be a very great game. Now, on to the next game. Number one, Auburn, once again, they play Oklahoma in this game. Do you think Auburn would get upset in this game, too? You know, I think Auburn Arena is one of the toughest places to play in uh, the entire yeah, country. Sure. Their fans always bring it. Very passionate fan base. Uh, our Missouri Tigers almost knocked them off in Mizzou Arena, but I still believe in Auburn as a team. They are my national champion right now. If you were to ask me right now, who do you think is going to win the national championship? I've known for a couple weeks now. I think it's Auburn. I think they're really, really good. They have the potential, in my opinion, he should be the number one overall pick in Jabari Smith. They have oh, okay. one of the best defensive centers in the entire country, Walker Kessler. And they also have, I think, the closest thing to Steph Curry in, in the college basketball. That's Wendell Green, who, I mean, he had some, some clutch buckets uh, in the game against Mizzou. And so did KD Johnson, who... I mean, that guy's terrifying. He's one of the scariest humans alive, I think. And Oklahoma, they got a, they got a good squad. They have uh, one of the best coaches in college basketball. I really do believe that in Porter Moser, the former Loyola Chicago coach. And he, he knows how to stop really good teams. Did it last year against Illinois in the tournament in the second round. But give me Auburn in this one. I think that Auburn's just a too tough place to play. So give me I'm going the Tigers. To take Auburn, too. Ain't nobody really worried about Oklahoma. Yeah, they, they could sneak in, come later, but I. I, with, like I said, Bortomo is a great coach, and they also have um, 
some really good transfers. I mean, they lost a couple of guys. It's it's close. They beat Mizzou last year in the tournament. Yeah. Oklahoma dead. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Everybody beats Mizzou. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Speaking about Mizzou, we had to speak about the best game last. <laughs> Mizzou plays Iowa State, number 23 Iowa State this weekend. Now, looking at Iowa State's st offensive stats, Mizzou and Iowa State both average around the same amount of points per game. But Mizzou has a better defensive rating than yeah. Iowa State. Do you think Mizzou can stop Iowa State and score enough to win the game? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tough question. You know, we see some great performances for the Tigers, mm -hmm. whether it was Auburn or, you know, uh, they, they kept it really close with... Um, they kept they Auburn beat, to 50 points. They kept Auburn to 50-50. I mean, that, that, they, they beat Utah, which Utah's a solid team. I mean, they were able to beat Ole Miss on the road in a dominating fashion. They beat yes. Alabama. They're a really good team. Or a good team, to say the least. But and then we'll have games where we get killed by Kansas, where Mizzou gets killed by Illinois. They get killed by Kentucky. They killed, uh, they're not killed, but they, they blew it against Alabama at the end. They blew it against Texas A&M. I got to go with Iowa State in this one. Iowa State led by uh, a transfer from Penn State. That's Isaiah Brockington, who is averaging 16 points per game this year. I mean, he is just a stud. And then, of course, the number two overall player in the state of Wisconsin from last year committed to Iowa State, Tyrese Hunter. Him and, him and Brockington make up one of the best backcourts, I think, in the country. Go along with another Minnesota transfer. You talked about Marcus Carter earlier from Texas, yes. Gabe Kalsher, who's a sharpshooter. Either he is literally Clay Thompson or he's me at the gym, which is, <laughs> which is Brick City. I mean, uh, you're, building the, you're building the building with all these bricks. Uh, so it, it, it comes and goes with him, but i got to go with Iowa State in this one. Ames is, again, another really tough place to play. I'm going to have to disagree with you. You're taking I'm Mizzou? going to take the upset. Oh, my. Defense wins championships, You're people. right. You're right. We've seen that with the 49ers on yep, Sunday. Yep. <laughs> Defense wins championships. The Georgia Bulldogs. The Georgia Bulldogs. Yep. Defense always wins championships, and defense is going to win this game this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'll take Mizzou. Taking Mizzou. I'm taking Iowa State. So we've got that one as the one difference. The one difference. That's, so that's the game difference. you got to watch. That you know, that's a game to see you who's to see knows more, more about college basketball. I said, I tell. Well, it was a nice show with David. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it very much. And this, I will be back every Thursday. Please come watch this show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And as always, be smooth. I like that. That was good. Well done. <laughs>